In this video, we'll see about the requirement details. Now, whenever you create a requirement, there are multiple fields which are associated with requirement. For example, your requirement ID, your requirement status, your requirement coverage, your requirement traceability. So there are many, many things which are associated with this requirements. Also, we'll be seeing how to work with the test coverage, linked defects. We can also see with the attachments and with the details parts. So let us see in detail about this requirements detail. Now, after creating the requirement, now let us see something in detail about the requirements. What I'm talking about the details is, if you observe here, if I select this login requirement, the ID number is given as two, not completed, and the author name is Pavan here. The description, if you observe here, I can mention some description, like the user should be able to log in with valid data. So I've written some description here. If I want, I can just change it to bold, italic, underline, or if I want, I can just use this some bullet points, indent, or if I want, I can undo, redo. Also, if I want, I can have some creation of table. If I click on this table, I can insert a table like this. It will ask me how many number of rows and columns you want. So number of rows is three, number of columns is three. I'll click on okay. So these are three rows and three columns which are given. So if you want to modify the table like splitting cells, merging cells or changing the background color, you can do all of them in this description part. On the right hand side, if you see there's an insert image option. Suppose if you want to insert a snapshot of the web page or some requirement, you can just select this option as insert image option. There's again a check spell check. If you have made some spelling mistake, you can just do a spell check. And there's a zoom in and zoom out. And also you can see this full screen. So you can observe this details requirement in the full screen part. And if you want, you can just bring back to this place by clicking on this close button. So for every requirement, you'll be having separate description. If I click on this logout, the description would be different here. Now, if I want to open this comments part, and if you see there's a comments here, you can enter some comments. This toolbar will be repeated again. Okay. And if you see the next tab, we have something as rich text, rich text works like exactly a word document, which will help you to format the text or the requirement or anything related to your requirement. So here you can just keep on entering again, the same thing. If you want user should be able to retrieve password like this. And if you want, you can just select and keep on modifying, like changing the font size, changing the font text like this, or else making as bold, italic, underline, and different things can be done here. If you observe uh, out of all these options, the last three options are important, which says here, this one, if you want to print this document, you can just click on this print button and any printer, if it is attached, it will directly get your printout. Next is, if you want to export this document as a PDF, you can select this option as export as PDF option. And then if you want to apply some rich text template, you can use this option also at this place. If you observe, there's a ruler part which is given here, which will help you to, you know, align your text in a proper manner also, right? So that's a rich text part given here. The next one is given as the attachments. This attachments, I've created a separate video which you can go through, like attaching a file, attaching a URL, a, a snapshot or getting the system information. So this you can see a separate video which is given. Development activity, if you want to connect any build or any code changes related to developers, this can be connected from the developer part itself. For that you need to go to this development tab and do the stuff. So that will be the job of a developer and you can here you can see the changes whatever have been done here. And the next tab we have something known as history. History will give you the details about what changes you have made, what was the old value and what is the new value. So all the new values will be displayed. Any person who's changing this requirement and if you, they want to see the history part, they can see in this place in the history part itself, right? Now, this is one method by which you can see the requirement details. But suppose if you are interested in only one particular requirement, let's say for example, login requirement, you can simply click on this number two, that is the ID number, requirement ID number, and a dialog box will open. This dialog box will give you the entire details about the requirement. I'll just click on this maximize button so I get enough space to explain you. So in this place, if you see the name of this requirement, the ID of the requirement, the details are given. This I have explained in the previous videos. 
below if you see there's a description and there's a comments box also where you can notify some comments to any person in the project below the details section if you see there's a rich text rich text is the same thing what we have observed there next is the attachments and you can attach any document here the last one if you see there's a history part the same history what we have seen at this particular location now these are the something re related to requirement details if you see the dialog box name that is requirement details there are some things known as linking part i can connect my uh, requirements to the defects to the development activity or requirement traceability or test coverage this i'll be showing you into into a separate video named as requirement linkage and also there's one more video which i'll be showing you how to work on the risk assessment part so right now i hope you have understood how to work on the requirement details just for the description comments rich text and the history part that's all for this video